the webinar concept, um, the idea is this. Um, the first line there says procurement uses deliverable-oriented routine teamwork based on processes. Well, that's very big words, but they're, they're carefully chosen. Um, procurement uses processes. Um, for example, uh, we want to make sure that our uh, suppliers have been well vetted and every now and then we will check and decide whether to include them on our uh, preferred supplier list. And the, the process, the, the work, if you like, of going and checking that out um, is a process. And we could have several of them happening at different times for different suppliers. And there may be a cycle that we do it every year or every two years and so on. So it's a process, all right? And deliverable oriented means that we do things that at the end we get something out of it. It's not just general activity. It's not just being busy. Um, at the end, we get a decision with us. For example, uh, that this um, supplier goes on our list or this supplier needs a, a warning or we need to work with them because their product is good, but somehow their delivery is not. Something like that. So procurement uses processes. And then the next point is that um, business process modeling, which is not necessarily uh, for procurement, it could be for anything, um, it's sometimes called BPM, um, captures the design and execution of processes. And, of course, you, you don't need um, a drawing to capture these things or a notation. They could be hidden away in, in um, proprietary uh, computer uh, programs of various sorts. Um, but business process modeling is a way of doing it so that it's visible. And I'll show you an example later on. Um, if you've seen it before, then that's a good reminder. And those of us that haven't seen it, it's, it's an introduction. And uh, so we get a picture of what the processes are going to do. Then the next section um, is just to highlight that social media, internet, web to broadband, iPhone, uh, software as a service, cloud, all of those things have come in in the last five or six years in a big way. Some of them existed um, a long time ago, uh, but they weren't as um, uh, widespread. So, for example, I went on the, a post bus here in Switzerland two weeks ago, and it had Wi-Fi, it had, um, it had internet connection in the bus. And I was on a tram recently, and that also had it. But that wasn't true two years ago. Um, and uh, you go to hotels and they almost certainly have a network and so on. Previously, you assumed if you were traveling, you were off the net. Again, airplanes, the last time I was in North America two or three months ago, uh, the flights I were on had, had internet access from the plane, even though we've been told for years to turn off our phones. Suddenly, it's not dangerous anymore. <laughs> and um, they use it for advertising and telling you where the plane is and so on. So all of that explosion has taken place, as we all know. And then the cloud workflows, if you like, is using the workflow, the business process modeling, um, but doing it through this, um, shall we say, this broadband, uh, always accessible interface that we get from the internet. And that's what's new, it's the combination. And it's like a lot of new ideas. It's an evolution. It's not, it's not a revolution, it's, uh, uh, but uh, it makes life easier. And we can think of applications that previously were impossible. i give you one I heard of just yesterday, was that the railways in Switzerland are testing a system where when you pass through the railway station, you collect a box. And to open it, you get a text message on your phone. And then they're making deals with people uh, to, to use the box. For example, supermarkets could fill the box with the things that you want. And then when you walk through the station, you pick this thing up and it saves you time. Now, that type of thing would have been completely impossible if you can't assume that everyone has a phone. So it's the flexibility which is new 